So, I'm very excited. I have a tripod. I finally have a tripod. <laughs> so, I decided to finally buy myself a tripod, which is absolutely amazing. I think it's about time that I got that. And with that, we're gonna go into a topic uh, that's uh, not discussed at all in uh, success circles. And that topic is don't trust your brain. So I've had a coaching call today with a client of mine and we I gave him a strategy a week ago, a sales strategy, literally step by step, do this, then this, then this, then this. And the guy uh, went on, did a few meetings and every time he was about to do the strategy, he would always back off at some point. And the point was usually the price, like he felt uncomfortable with the price. So I called him, Today and I asked, hey, how's up? How's it going with the strategy? You know, because it's a winning strategy to make really high ticket sales. And he tells me, look, I don't think it's the right thing for me. Like, I think I should maybe do like, uh, you know, one hundred and fifty dollars sales instead of two thousand dollars sales. Like, I think it's too much. It's not, you know, it's too much out of my comfort zone. It's not the right thing for me. And I basically had to explain to him, this is the concept I want to get to today. If you're not getting results in an area of your life, let's say that in terms of a diet, you're trying to lose weight for a long time and you, you, you can't lose weight. You keep gaining weight or just not getting results. That means that you cannot trust your brain and your knowledge. You can't trust it. Your brain is against you. Your beliefs, your comfort zone, they're all against you. Because if you could actually do it, if you could actually lose weight, you would have done it by now with the tools you have here. So. When you get a mentor or, or a guide or a course or anything where there's step-by-step -step instructions, there's principles, things you should follow, you should never only do some of them, you should do all of them. And again, the reason for that is your brain is not working properly because what usually people do in this situation is they nitpick. They say, oh, I wanna do this step and this step, but I don't wanna do that step because that step is like uncomfortable and I don't think I should do it, you know? And uh, what happens is they pick the things they're comfortable with, which are usually not that different from what they're currently doing, and they're actually missing out on the things that will make it work. So you never know which part of the formula of the recipe actually works. And that's why when you have a mentor, you have to do exactly what he says to the letter, or else, again, you're just gonna lose that bonus. Another example, uh, I have another client for whom I built this really successful landing page and he started getting sales for his workshop. And then he had the bright idea and said, hey, let's change a bunch of stuff in the web page. And I said, why, what's the purpose? And he said, I think it's more me. You know, it's more me to change this and this and this. And we did the changes. And again, I told him, look, it's not gonna go out, it's not gonna turn out well, but you know, you'll see. So we did it and in immediately like the, the, the changes lowered the conversion rates, but not by like 10%, by like 70, 80%. And the reason for that is, again, when something works, it just works. So if you're gonna copy someone, if you're gonna get mentored by someone, do exactly as they say, do everything that they say, uh, because again, your brain so far has been broken, maybe in general, maybe in this area of life. So you cannot afford to, to listen to what your brain is saying, you have to, use the external direction. And what's gonna happen, the same with my client, he's gonna listen to me now, he's gonna do exactly what I told him, and he's gonna get results. And when he gets results, even if it was really uncomfortable and felt like not my identity, which again is a good thing, if you're not getting results at the moment, because your identity is that of somebody who's not getting results. So if he's gonna listen to me and do what I say, he's gonna start seeing results, and then his identity is actually gonna shift because his motivation level will rise dramatically. He's gonna think, whoa, this worked, like, like I should do more. And uh, one final example, I had a, a sales uh, meeting just uh, a few days ago with somebody who's been a good friend of mine for a while, and he wanted me to coach him. And immediately I thought, oh, I'm gonna close him on like, you know, a couple hundred dollars just because he's my friend. I'm just gonna, you know, give him like a friendly discount or something. But then as I was sitting in the actual sales meeting, I just started thinking like, oh God, dude, this is not like, don't follow your intuition, you know, like don't, don't go uh, different uh, because it's a different situation. 
use the strategy that worked so far. So basically I took my strategy and applied it and it didn't feel natural, but I did exactly step-by-step step what I usually do. We ended up closing an almost $3,000 sale and we've been working for a few days now and so far he's super, super happy. And I don't think I would have gotten nearly the same results with him and for myself if I would have just followed my intuition. So again, it's really important that you learn to follow your intuition and be, you know, be authentic and be you. But if you're not getting the results you want right now, authenticity and, uh, and your comfort zone, they're not a priority. Right now, a priority is, is feeling, just following a system that works, getting results, and once you start getting results, once you have that abundance, no, no matter what area of life that is, now you can actually inject your personality into it. So now you can say, oh, this is more me, this is not me, because now your identity and your results are of somebody that's actually successful and abundant. Again, no matter which area of life, or even in general. So take this tip, again, if you're not in a good place in your life right now, find a mentor or find a course, a strategy, anything, and just stick to it. Don't listen to your brain, don't do what your intuition tells you, because again,